We are uh, driving through the Mission District, which is sort of east central San Francisco, California, and we are going to one of the most well-regarded, one of the most famous taqueria slash burrito slash quesadilla places in the entire city. It is called La Taqueria. Now, this requires perhaps a little bit of explanation for the Mission Style Burrito. There is a Mission Style Burrito named for the Mission District, which in turn is named for the Mission, the San Francisco de Assis Mission. And from that came the Mission Style Burrito, which is known for being this big overstuffed burrito with rice, beans, meat, various fillings. We are going to La Taqueria, which is famous for, among other things, it's burritos, but it doesn't put rice in the burritos because the owner, Miguel Jara, is just simply not to his taste. While we are on our way to La Taqueria, why don't you take this opportunity to hit subscribe on your browser or mobile device so that you can continue to get this fabulous food and restaurant related content delivered to you constantly. So tell me the story of uh, La Taqueria. It's been open for how long? 44 years. 44 years. This March is 44 years. That's a long time. I know, and it flies, <laughs> man, but it's fun. When I go visit my friends in Tijuana, one of them told me when, because they want to go eat Chinese food and steaks and stuff like that. And because I was up here and there's no tacos here, I go over there, no, no, I just want to go eat tacos, you know? So, uh, one of them said, hey, compadre, all the time you come over here, you just want to go eat tacos. Why don't you take a taco maker so he could feed you out there? This one was a bar. And at that, this was a bar? This was okay. a bar called Gordos. Gordos? Yeah, mucho gordo. And the people used to pass by here, and they, the door was open. They will come in and say, hey, what are you going to do here? Oh, I'm going to make a taco place, man. Yeah. I'm going to sell carne asada, carnitas. Eh? So the day that I opened, it got packed. Nice. My mom was here making chili. That's a recipe for the hot sauce. Yeah. Two o'clock in the afternoon, we don't have any. No more food. Oh, wow. Food. Because everybody that passed by here was waiting That's for It's amazing. <laughs> in the er you have such uh, buzz about the opening in, yeah. in the early 70s. Without any publicity or nothing, just because the people used to pass, pass by here. Tell me about the burrito, because the this neighborhood is famous for having burritos. They are different, because in Tijuana they had burritos mm. when I was over there. They put rice, and that was like half of rice, right. in the a quarter of beans. Mm. Yeah, they taste good, but when you do carne asada, yeah. It takes the flavor away from it. Okay. So I decided not to do it. Cost me more money because the rice is 20 cents a pound. Right, you have to put more, more meat. meat in there. Yeah. But that's okay because the people love it. Yeah. I'm gonna try some of this, uh, some of your, one of your burritos, I think. You're not going back to LA, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna do a uh, carne asada uh, super dorado burrito. And then, can I also have a, a quesadilla with uh, carnitas? Uh, flour tortilla or con tortilla? Flour. For here? Yeah, for here. This is carne asada. Carne asada asar means to grill. So carne asada just means grilled meat. It's a little smoky. It tastes like it's been marinated. It tastes like it's been rubbed in you know, salt, pepper, maybe something like a little bit sweet. They're generous with the meat in the burrito. And then the beans are nice and like pop in your mouth. You know, it's a little bit greasy, but it's like that earthy, salty bean flavor that you like so much. But I like the fact that they're, that they're sort of whole and intact. Very juicy and flavorful. We have guacamole. We have like the salsa pico de gallo and uh, in beans, it's very simple. And then it's wrapped in this flour tortilla 
and then it's grilled. So the salsa is special. This is Miguel's mother's recipe. And it tastes like tomatillos. It's nice and spicy. And some spicy serrano peppers. Maybe a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic. I could eat this all day. It's a beautiful burrito because it doesn't try to do too much. Legend has it, I don't know if this is true, but that uh, some very hungry firefighters wanted a big burrito and so they like put two small tortillas together to make a giant burrito and that they needed uh, all of the starch in the burrito to sort of have the energy to do their hard labor. Um, I forgot we have other food. This is a beautiful quesadilla with carnitas, which is pork. So this is a beautiful mess of pork meat, guacamole, pico de gallo, sour cream. Extremely juicy, very tender, sort of fall off the bone, if there were a bone, but there's not bone. Falls off the bone, TBT. Cut to girl saying falls off the bone. Falls off the bone! Thank you. That nice tartness of the sour cream and the creaminess of the avocado. A little bit of bitterness from the onion and the pico de gallo, but a little bit of sweetness from that tomato. I don't know, I kind of like the, I mean, I like the burrito better, but, but the quesadilla is nothing to sneeze at, especially if you like cheese. The meat, though, carnitas are a little more greasy. So the, the carne asada, it's gonna be a little bit more of that, like, almost burnt carbon charcoal flavor that you get on sort of grilled meat, whereas the carnitas usually have been, like, marinating, sitting in their own fat, you know, for a long time, so it's just that, moist, drippy pork meat. And that's what the carnita, I mean, it's really, really delicious. Um, but it's different than the, than the carne asada. I love it. This place is great. I, San Francisco is the place to go for burritos. Sorry, LA. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Dining on a Dime from La Taqueria in the Mission District in San Francisco, California. If you'd like to watch more, please click here. You make me feel like a natural Lucas. Lucas!